we're going to have a pandemic. We are closely monitoring the emerging cases of swine flu in the United States. We cannot forecast what will happen in the future. And this is obviously a cause for concern and requires a heightened state of alert. One possibility is that as this virus spreads and it changes, it will come back in the fall to the United States. This may not be the pandemic. We don't know. Scientists can't even tell you, and I can't tell you as a former Secretary of Health, that this is going to be a pandemic this year uh, during the flu season. But I can tell you we are going to have a pandemic because we've had uh, 10 in the last 300 years. And uh, we had three the last 100 years, 1918, which was also the most severe flu pandemic ever hit in the world. Over 50 million people, and that's a conservative estimate, died. H1N1 is not the only pandemic threat. Bird flu, or H5N1, has killed 60% of those infected, and a pandemic may be right around the corner. And as you can see, when you wear the surgical mask, there's a big gap here. If you don't a mask and, and, and there are leakage, uh, that is as good as not using it because you are then allowing the microbes to, um, to uh, escape through the, the protection and, and you're actually breathing in. It's different when you just put on the mask just to, just to block the dust and pollen or whatever. Uh, it's a different thing when you're using it to block something that's so small, like microbes, uh, like, like virus and bacteria. Look at the medicines you buy. Look at the masks you buy. You know, to make sure that they're FDA approved and they're going to be able to, to do something. It's, the worst thing in the world is to purchase something that is not going to be effective. The Spanish flu outbreak of 1918 was an H1N1 virus, like H1N1 today. Spanish flu first appeared in April. The first wave did not kill many people. But the virus changed over the summer into a deadlier strain. In the fall, the second wave appeared, eventually killing over 50 million people. People don't understand and don't really realize uh, that just a regular flu causes 36,000 deaths a year. Just imagine, just think about that. Just analyze that, 36,000 Americans this year are gonna die from the flu. How many of those deaths could be prevented if that individual had been prepared? A normal time and, and tell people to um, buy a mask, stock up some just to protect. It's kind of like it goes in here and goes out there. It's a, it doesn't happen. Time reported in May that the Department of Health and Human Services says the nation would need more than 30 billion masks and respirators to protect all Americans adequately in the event of a serious epidemic. That's about 100 per person. But the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Strategic National Stockpile currently contains only 119 million masks, 39 million surgical and 80 million respirator. That's less than 1% of the goal health officials set in 2007, following the devastation of Hurricane Katrina, which highlighted the country's shortages of vital medical gear. 
In a pandemic, manufacturers could not handle demand. So who would get priority in a pandemic? When there's really an outbreak, honestly, our priority is to the government. The worst thing in the world is to have a, a young child or an elderly person not prepared and know full well that a few dollars spent correctly will protect you from this insidious disease, uh, which we hope doesn't hit us, but it, it's possible. And that's this new virus, H1N1.